You know, we jumped that boy on Monday. It worked. Welcome back to Ariana Journey's world. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, you could already tell that the vibes are a little different in this video. Um, usually I'm mad upbeat, mad exciting. Kind of smells good, but not today. Today I'm doing a McBang slash McBong McBang, whatever slash rant. Um, obviously I'm not in the best frame of mind. And honestly, I may not even post this, but I feel like just talking to somebody, whether it's myself or whether it's you guys, will make me feel better. So I'm literally eating random things. I'm eating some chips and some salsa, plus some random items from the cafe. If I'm still hungry, I'm gonna go in my refrigerator and get some more stuff. Where to start? Oh, I also have some water. <laughs> so honestly, these like last 24 hours have been absolute trash let me show you what i'm about to eat <laughs> look look at that and then chips and salsa anyway so honestly the last 24 hours have been like mad cheeks um just so let me give you a little context so i got sick i started getting sick like on thursday or whatever and i don't know why but every time i get sick i don't I'm not proactive. I just wait around until it gets terrible. And that's when I want to fix it. But like when you're like mid cold, it's too late. <coughs> so I started feeling myself getting sore throat. I was like, whatever. Now, four days later, my cold still hasn't like come in yet. It's still like that sore throat issue. That's really annoying. So I've been battling with that illness. That's what you meant. I've been battling with the sickness. Pretty much all week and then to make things worse i started my period so that's just a whole nother week of just madness hmm, that's not bad yesterday i feel like i was acting like a monster just you could tell that i was just in a mood all day you could tell i was in a mood pretty much all day um just if nothing was going as planned. I feel like I had to pee all day. I don't feel like explaining that feeling, but just stuff. And then I went over to my boyfriend's house yesterday because I was gonna eat because I hadn't, I haven't, I didn't have a meal yesterday. I just had a bunch of like snack pieces. Like I had fries twice. Who has fries twice in one day? Terrible judgment, right? Um, then I had a hot dog. Two pop tarts, one in the morning, one at freaking 12 30 at night. So, sorry for talking food in my mouth, but I don't want y'all to just watch me eat. I'm on top. So, I went over his house to make some dinner, whatever. He already ended up eating, so I was just eating by myself. But I was just feeling so inter B weird. I was just feeling terrible. Just so, anyway, so I, I went to go boil some water. To make some spaghetti, right? Super simple, basic. I love spaghetti, but I make it. And while I was boiling, I got like mad. So I just went and laid down and like stared in the darkness. And then, mind if I'm hungry, I'm cramping, and I'm sick. So I just got so mad. So I went back, I turned the boiling water off. My boyfriend's like, you know what's wrong? How can I help? I was like, nothing, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. Because I mean, I don't really feel like it's something he could help with. Well, he wants to make the food for me, but I doubt it. So, that's for sure. I ended up leaving like two hours earlier than I expected to leave. Just mad annoyed, saying goodbye, went to my room. I was crying in my room. Just all these emotions were going through me. Like, I just said I felt lonely. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my career. Blah, 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 blah. Just all over the place. And I was debating with myself if I should like stay up mad late and like basically be bad and watch Netflix on it or or should I go just stop everything and go to sleep I kind of did a little bit of both I did watch like an hour of Netflix last night 
Um, and I did a little journaling, so that's always good. I like to journal my life. But it was just it was all these emotions. And then at the same time, I was telling myself, Aaron, you're overreacting. It's okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I didn't touch my Bible this morning. I usually do my devotion in the morning. Not today. I'm just over it. I really feel like being with I really feel like being by myself today and this weekend, but I kind of can't because I already have things set up. Like, um, we're doing this like church service for our class tomorrow. I'm a part of it, so I can't go to that. If I wasn't a part of it, I don't even know if I would go just based off how I feel. I just need to be in my room by myself. Um, then today, we have a practice for that church service, so I have to be there for that stuff going on tonight i may not go tonight if I, if I don't feel better i'm not going tonight because i just i feel like it's not healthy for me but at the same time i feel like me sitting in my room isn't the healthiest because i feel like i'm just kind of sitting in my sadness and like being around people kind of forces you to get out of your sadness and then my lashes are lifting like right here it didn't look like that when i left out this morning so <sighs> actually really good I'm impressed calf anyway so y'all don't know I haven't talked about this but I have a single room this well I don't have a single room I'm in my room by myself my roommate moved out um so I have my room to myself and I did say God you know if I I was hoping to live in the campus apartments that was a dub um but I basically prayed God if I can't move into the apartments kind of have a room to myself god answered that prayer because i'm by myself and there's perks but there's also cons like if i feel like socializing i can just come in the room and talk to ashley like today if i don't feel like talking to anybody i don't have to and i feel like yeah that may feel good for me but i feel like that's not good for me socially especially since i feel like i don't have very many friends and like people on campus be like Ariane, what are you talking about you do have a lot of friends no I talk. I don't even talk to a lot of people, but I do talk to a lot of people at the same time. I don't have many, I don't have a lot of people I can be like, hey, I'm bored. Wanna wake up? Like, there's probably less than seven people that I can do that to. And and like freshman year, we had like a girl gang, so if three people don't want to hang out. I still have those other four, and all four of us can hang out. But now. I don't have like a big friend group, but all my friends are kind of spread out. Except for two. The three of us are all friends. But everybody else is like, I'm just friends with them. And it's, like, it's not like me and my boyfriend's friends are like mad tight, so I can go over there and hang with them. No, it's not like that. I feel like that's a big part of why I feel this way. And honestly, like this mood that I'm in happens probably once a month. I always feel lonely. Like at college, you're surrounded by people yeah but like just i just feel lonely i don't know how to explain it if you felt this way please drop it below in the comments because i would love to know that i'm I'm not the only one and it's just frustrating because like college is supposed to be like the best years of your life and i'm literally halfway done with college like i want to leave college with like a oh. I want to leave college with like a soulmate. I'm not talking about like my boyfriend's soulmate, but like a somebody who, who like, you know, it's just hard. <laughs> I honestly feel like if my girl group from freshman year would have stayed together, I probably would have felt that like soulmate connection with a few of them, you know what I mean? Obviously not everybody because you don't just have that connection with everybody. I don't know. I'm just lonely. I don't even go over my boyfriend's house as much. That's really interesting. Like, usually I would spend like hours over there. Not as much anymore. I guess, I don't want this to just be a rant, even though that's really what it is. I just want to give advice, I guess, if anybody's going. I want to give advice that I'm not going to take because I don't want to. I'm bad, but I think you should take it. I think. It's a little soft, but anyway. I feel like if you're in college and you feel like you're this low, I feel like you should force yourself to be around your friends, your few friends. Friends really do make everything better. Like, 
I really wish I could go back to freshman year, man. And you know, I loved my girl gang, but our girl gang's not a thing anymore. <laughs> so I wish I would have spread out a little bit. Like, I wouldn't trade the world for hanging out with the girls that I hung out with. But I do feel like I needed to, I wish I would have made more friendships with other girls and guys my freshman year. I think I had a bunch of acquaintances. I felt like that was cool with a lot of people, but like friends, like, oh, can I come to your room? Oh, I have this problem. Oh, I'm broke, I need money. Oh, let's talk about money. Literally, I came back to school like, y'all, I got money, like, like, I don't have to worry about anything. Like, I was pretty much set. I could do like some shopping. I could get the stuff that I needed. But when I came back to school, my car battery was dead. And I knew it was dead. Because my friend came and started my car and she told me that it was dead. And she, she jumped it and it worked. So I thought, oh, we can just jump it and be cool. You know, we jumped that boy on Monday. And it worked. So I have to spend like $160 on a brand new car battery. Bro. I was very upset. But very thankful at the same time because because at least a car battery is like a minor fix like all you have to do is buy a battery and put it in so my boyfriend did it but if it was something major like the whole transmission stuff never experienced it i don't ever want to experience like having a broken transmission because i hear those are mad expensive and honestly if that was broken i probably wouldn't even have my car today it would probably sit in the back right where it was until I got the funds for it. But y'all like, I'm just like, I've never really struggled with money in college. Cause I kind of always had some backup money, you know? And I was, oh, and I was kind of always able to like, oh, if I want something, I can go buy it. You know, not nothing crazy, but just like, it wasn't for every 21 and I saw stuff I liked, I would be able to buy it cause I had enough money saved up. But y'all now, I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, my family gave me money before I left. But then I went to car battery, gas, because my car was pretty much on E when I came back. Getting stuff for my room. Like, there's some stuff I had to get. I had to get food for my room. Um, What else? Of course, I'm going to get fast food sometimes. Like, that's a given. What else? Just to basically, y'all, I'm not, like, bro, like, I had $5 to my name. But there's some stuff that I have to get done that... I can't really get done because of the money that I have. For example, my my gas. So you know this is E, right? And you know there's a, that little thing right here and that one right here. I'm like right here. So I have to get gas. And it's MLK weekend. So I'm going to be going out places. I have to get gas, right? That's like $35. Then um, my nails. I've had these nails since Christmas. They don't look horrific, but they look bad. So I need to get that done. That's going to be like $35. I don't know. Oh, I thought I went to movies with some friends today. I think those plans fell through though. And I haven't started working yet, so I'm not getting a check for a while. But I'm honestly just tired. Just, I really wish I could go back. And I was so excited for this semester. That's the crazy thing. Like, I knew I had a lot on my plate, but I was sure that the semester was going to be awesome. It's not. So, yeah, but I don't want to just keep ranting. Like, 15 minutes of ranting, that's not good. But I will say, I do feel better. Like, I feel like the weight has been lifted. My stomach doesn't hurt anymore. So that's good. This water feels really good going on my throat. I don't know. If I could go back in time, I would definitely change some things. <sighs> so that I wouldn't feel like how I feel right now. And the thing that bothers me is that this is not like a peculiar feeling. Like, I feel like this. Not on the regular. Definitely not. But, like I said, like, once a month, I get in this mood. So, if you see this, and if we're friends, or if I call you a friend, or if I converse with you like we're friends, feel free to hit me up. Like, I feel like, okay, I feel like one big problem with this mood is I'm sick of asking people to hang out. Um, That's really, I've been doing that my whole life. Like, oh, hey, let's hang out, I'll plan it, stuff like that. Just, I'm sick of being the planner. I want somebody to be like, hey, let's do this. Yeah, I'm busy, but I will work around my schedule to hang out with friends. 
so i just wish i had more people in my life that would be like hey i'm bored let's do something you know um and while i'm saying this literally somebody did do that to me they said let's hang out we're supposed to but we're all just so busy so it's kind of hard to work around all of our schedules but anyway y'all um, this is my mukbang um feel free to subscribe to my channel i would love it if you did i'm literally if you look at my other videos i'm never like this but i just thought youtube is about sharing my life so i don't just want to show the happy parts i'm gonna show you the downsides of um my life but i definitely do feel better i feel like i can smile and stuff excuse me um all right y'all i'm not gonna talk any longer i've been recording for 18 minutes and 56 seconds so i'm gonna let you guys go hope all of you guys have a great day i'm, pu I'm putting this up today like literally about to put it on my laptop minimal editing but yeah um put me in your prayers just that i'm more social put myself out there and that i make more friends and that i'm i don't want to say willing but i make the time to hang out with the friends that are willing to hang out with me and that my my cold ends on that i just have a really good year 20 2019 is supposed to be my year it's year 21 supposed to be the best year of my life that's that's something i'm i told myself but so far it's kind of crappy so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video i don't know if you enjoy it that's kind of odd because who wants to see somebody like down but maybe you just enjoy it because you love me <laughs> but all right y'all i'm out i'll see you guys in the next video i definitely won't be like this i'll be in a happier mood so peace out oh. And thanks for watching this video. Just me talking to the camera, even though it's not alive. Just me talking to you guys makes me feel better. So, thank you. All right, I'm out. Peace. A quick thing before I go, because it's funny that I got this text while I was filming that video. If if you see somebody tweeting that I feel bad, like I tweeted last night, I feel horrible. And if somebody were to ask me about that, I'd be like, oh, I was sick. But it was more than that. So just say, when you see your friends struggling please reach out because you really don't know what's going on and even if they don't tell you trust me okay if you see a friend who's struggling reach out even if they don't tell you what's going on i promise you just you reaching out will make them feel better so shout out to krista she texted me again shout out to krista for reaching out i appreciate it man all right for real peace <laughs>